high. The price of vintage Celestian greenbacks, you know, from before 1973, has gone up pretty dramatically. Uh, I, I think they're about uh, 300 bucks a piece uh, nowadays. So I often get the question uh, from you guys, uh, if you go ahead and buy one of those speakers, uh, do they differ a lot? How is the consistency? Uh, do I have to buy a bunch of them to, uh, to, uh, to get the one that, uh, that's good enough? Well, today we're going to look at that uh, uh, question. Currently, I have four 1960 Marshall cabs. That's the, uh, the cab that has the most famous greenback. You know, the uh, T1221 G12M 2575 hertz greenbacks. Uh, I'm going to close mic all the speakers of those cabs uh, for two riffs uh, played back to back. I'm going to use a couple of microphone positions for each, each speaker uh, because uh, it's, it's, it's hard to replicate mic positions and they may have a slightly different sweet spots. Um, uh, so, so this is uh, the way I chose to, uh, to do it. And then you can hear how consistent they are. The four most famous models of vintage greenbacks are, are the G12M 2575Hz. That's what you could find in the uh, 1960 cabs. Then you have the second most famous is the G12H 30 55Hz. That's uh, uh, what you would find in the 1982 cabs. Uh, the cabs that said 100 in the corner. That famous, uh, Hendrix is famous for, has made famous for, for using live at least. Then you have uh, G12M 2555 hertz. Uh, that's the speaker that was in the bass caps, the 1935 caps. Uh, and the fourth version is, is the uh, uh, G12H 30 75 hertz. And Marshall didn't use that one. That's what you would find in uh, orange or uh, uh, Laney cabs at the time. All right. So now let's compare all the speakers in my 1960 cabs. I'll comment it more at the end of the clip also, so stick around for that also. Let's go.
Well, at least my conclusion is that uh, they're, they're pretty consistent, these speakers. Uh, I, I could probably settle for any of these. Uh, I didn't like the... Uh, there was one that wasn't Pulsonic, 98-700 here. I didn't like it at all. Uh, at least not with, with uh, how I had the amp set up. Uh, but besides that, uh, the speakers are... Uh, so they, they have the tone, all of them. You know, different miking positions, well, that, that's often discussed and so on. Well, all better off with, with a completely different miking posi position, someone might say. Well, that, that's both true and not. I mean, it's, it's still... Uh, uh, different miking positions is like seeing the same person in different lights. You can see that it, it's that person, it's just a different light. S same thing here. Uh, so, so, uh, and and, and from all, all the different positions, they, they still have the greenback, uh, Pulsante classic tone. All right, what did you think? Cheers. <laughs>